Hey, what's up? What's up? Joe in Vegas back uh, with another review. I'm going to do another food one. I can't believe it. Never in my life that I think I'd be doing food reviews. But I do live in a city where, for me, second to entertainment is is the dining. I'm not. I've said it in all every single food review, and I'll say it in every food. I eat like a child. I order the most basic things off the menu. I have a very basic palate, just the way I am. I, I try to eat vegetarian, so I don't choose a lot of meat options off these menus which leaves me kind of limited it's getting better it's getting better with impossible burgers and the whole vegan movement but i still gravitate towards the simple stuff i don't know child i'm a child uh anyway so i don't plan to do these reviews these food reviews if i'm out then i'll then and i'm having a good time i'm like this is a great place fuck it i'll take some pictures and i'll do a review this is the one time where i knew i was going to dinner with someone here and i know how special this place is because i've been there Many times since I've gotten there. The only reason I haven't been there more is a lot of times I'll call or I'll see for reservations. They are packed. They are always packed. I mean, you have to really make a reservation to come here. It's called Capos. Capos, Las Vegas. I don't know if it's, uh, I think it's just Capos. Oh, Capos uh, something in Speakeasy. Italian restaurant Speakeasy. So this is off the strip. It's located on Sahara and probably around Jones, somewhere over there. Um, honestly, if you're staying on the strip, and you're looking for something really special, It's wor- I think it's worth the Uber drive. I really do. I mean, it's, it's more known for a local's place, but the term that they have on their website that I really like is mafia chic. This place, it's a great way to describe it. It is, it is a little secret hole in the wall, very unassuming when you drive by. I don't know how to do this. I'm not going to talk about how you get in because I don't want to ruin that. All I could tell you about when you get there and you go in the opening, if you open the door to go in a restaurant and you see some people standing there, just close it and wait two minutes because you want going to that restaurant. You may, you want to make sure it's just you and your party. I, I, that's all I'm going to say. It's a, I'll let, it's a very unique way to go to a restaurant and it sets the tone and it's fucking awesome. This place reminds me of that scene in Goodfellas when he goes in the back kitchen and, and uh, the music's playing in the background and, and he comes out and they're treating him like a king and he's walking through the aisles and they put a special table out for him. The second they open that door for you, it, you are transported to another fucking world. It is, I don't say pitch dark, but it's dark and it affects a lot of my pictures. I don't know how my, I got to go through the pictures and videos and see how they came out. I might have to steal some professional pictures from, from Google or from their website because... Everything's so dark, pictures don't come out great. But you walk in, and the first thing that hits you is the smell. You get the smell, this Italian food smell. And then the ambiance smacks you in the face harder than the smell smacks you in the face. You see everything, like, everything you would imagine the perfect Italian restaurant to look like, they put so much soul into into making this. They have the big red leather booths. With the dark, dark lighting, everything's lit very dimly. There's a guy in the corner singing Frank Sinatra songs in a suit. There is the the lighting, the the, the, the just the the bar. All the waiters are dressed with their suspenders. They look like fucking little little like uh, the, you know the 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 hostess, the, the guy who opened the door. He's dressed like a mobster. It has a feel of entertainment value, but somehow it doesn't. Because it's not entertainment. They they do it like so subtle and so authentic that it doesn't feel like entertainment. It actually it doesn't feel like a cheesy themed restaurant. It does not, and I think that's their biggest accomplishment. You don't feel like you're in some like themed uh, rainforest cafe or some shit like that. It is so authentic that they that they that it works so well that, that I don't know. That's the best way I can describe it. It just works. That's the ambiance. The ambiance is. Alone, where the 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 artwork on the walls, it's all everything is done fucking perfectly. Then the menu comes out. You can barely see it. It's so freaking dark in there, but it's awesome. That's kind of the way you want it. I mean, there's something about going on a date or going with friends and having this low low lighting with these. You know, you lit up on the on your faces are lit up. Everybody looks good. You got the music in the background. It just sets the vibe. Um, we got. I'm gonna post pictures of the menu. It's not cheap. It's gotten, I don't know if it's gotten expensive. I always remember being expensive, but I remember they used to have these deals, which I don't think they have anymore. Like Tuesday nights were like two for one and this and that. I think this economy just wiped out all that shit for, for business owners that want to do that stuff. Um, massive menu, very well-rounded menu. I'm going to post pictures of it. You know, they have 
great starters. We started with the Gambino garlic cheesy bread, which is basically pizza on garlic bread. It's it's great. It's a lot. It's a big portion. So don't get it unless you're hungry or know that you're going to be taking most of it home. Comes with a little side of vodka sauce. I'll post a picture. Just like I said, when you're in that environment, your your brain starts telling you, "Hey, get me some fucking bread and some sauce and some cheese and shove it in my mouth." Like that's what you can't wait to do. You can't wait to dig in. They're known. I know we didn't order it, but I know they're known for their meatball. They have this massive. Let's see if I can find it on the menu. They have this massive uh, meatball. I've I've been out with someone in the past that has ordered. It. It's kind of cool. Um, but we got that she, I got, because I told you again, and I'll say it over and over again, I eat like a child. I got the Vinny a la vodka, penne pasta tossed with sun-dried tomatoes, Capo's pink sauce. Uh, you can add grilled chicken or shrimp. I got that. That was 27 bucks. She got the Goodfellas piccata, the chicken. She got salmon, the substitute. So she got salmon sauteed in a lemon butter and wine, white caper sauce with a touch of cream. Came with, I think, mashed potatoes and asparagus. Uh, that's what we got. Alcohol, I don't remember. I think she just got a champagne. Uh, I got my Jack on the Rocks. And it's just, it's again, it's pricey. It's not a cheap night out, especially for locals. But it's an experience. I don't want to say dinner and a show because that comes out. That just sounds like so much cheesier than it is. It's not. You really get, if you want a night, a, just treat someone some, to something special that's more than just going to a restaurant, having dinner, and going home. This is an experience. It's a full-on experience. It is fantastic. The food is good. Again, pricey, but you're getting more than just food. You're getting a full experience. And you get the music and the... the I've been there before. I don't know if they do it anymore. They used to have a magician coming and doing little tricks at tables. I feel like I feel like they classed it up since the last time I was there, which has been a year or two. I feel like the pricing went up a little bit. I feel like it got a little more elegant, a little less, you know, uh, show. But it's all good. Highly recommend it. Scale of 1 to 10, I am, fuck, it's a great place, man. For all the things combined, the food was good. It was very, It was very good. It wasn't like the best thing I've had in my life, but it was very good. Uh, I would give it a 9.4 out of 10 just because it's just a great overall experience. I, I, I do. I don't want to take away from the food. The food was good. Um, that's pretty much it. I don't I know what else to say. You'll see some pictures. Hopefully, I, I have some decent pictures that, that aren't too dark. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you at the next show or restaurant or anything else I choose to review. All right, bye.